What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenlee here with Cleaning Green Lawn Service in South Georgia. Uh, it is nasty out here today. We had a, another storm come through last night, and uh, so <clears throat> probably won't be any work outside today. Maybe late this afternoon, but I think there's like a 90% chance of rain um, <clears throat> throughout the day. So anyway, but it's Monday morning. I'm sitting in what I refer to as the pastor's cave. If you've been uh, following me for any period of time, you probably know that my full-time job is a uh, pastor in a local church here in South Georgia, which is uh, a great delight of mine. But I thought I would share something with you this morning, uh, just kind of an overview, and I think I'll try to do a couple other videos maybe in line with what I want to talk about this morning. But I noticed there's a lot of guys out starting businesses, and I just want to share something with you about uh, you know starting and maintaining a business. Now, let me say right up front, uh, I am not a business expert. Uh, I'm only really in the first full year of establishing and having a, a part-time company because it, this is lawn care is a side gig for me. Uh, it's something that I love. It's something that I enjoy. It's something that I want to do for a long time. But I've always had a full-time job that uh, provided. <clears throat> and uh, But now, just because I'm new in business, let, let me also say this. I have been around business uh, all of my adult life. Uh, I started out working in a grocery store and, uh, you know, it was pretty successful for the time that I stayed there. And then I worked in a boat manufacturing plant for about 18 years, uh, did all sorts of different jobs, started out on the shop floor, uh, spent some time as a production supervisor, worked in quality control, uh, you know, so I, I've done a lot around business. but. I want to share, since I'm a pastor, I like to have uh, outlines that kind of flow. And so I'm going to give you three points uh, as if you were getting a sermon from me uh, today regarding business. Uh, I call it the three P's of business. Number one, there needs to be passion. Okay, uh, Whatever you're going to do, if you want to start a business. Now, listen, I understand you can work for somebody and have a job that you don't necessarily like, but it puts food on the table and, and you endure it, if you will. But, but you don't want to start a business uh, and to endure. Uh, now, there's going to be some enduring in business, and we'll talk about that in the last point. But you need to have a passion for whatever it is you're going to do. You're watching this channel. You're probably thinking about lawn care. A lot of people are starting out doing lawn care. Lawn care is something that you can get into uh, and start out small with. It's something you can do uh, relatively easy, and we'll talk more about that in just a few minutes as well. But first and foremost, you need to have passion. You need to have desire. Uh, you, you need to find satisfaction in lawn care. Uh, one of the reasons that I love lawn care is it is instant gratification. It's one of those things. It's kind of like pressure washing or something like that, you know, as just as soon as you finish uh a job, even in the process of doing a, a, a customer's property, there's that instant gratification. You can look behind the lawnmower and you can see uh, how this grass has been taken down. And, uh, you know, when, then when you string trim and get everything cleaned up good, blow everything off, it just looks so good. So there's that instant uh, gratification that's with it. So, but you need to have a passion for doing for doing lawn care. You need to have a passion for that. It needs to be something that excites you, something that, that wakes you up in the morning. If you have a full-time job, you're doing it part-time, it needs to be something that you look forward to leaving your day job and going in the afternoons and cutting grass. Or if you work night shift and you get up in the morning, you need to look forward um, um, to doing that. So there needs to be a passion. Number two, though, there also has to be provisions. That's the second P. Now, Provisions, and I'm going to go into more detail in this in another video, but provisions essentially are two things. Uh, number one, you need equipment. If you're going to do lawn care, you need equipment. Now, you don't have to have a big fancy setup. You don't have to have a big utility trailer. You don't have to have an enclosed trailer. I've seen people, Wild Bill's Lawn Care, uh, he's on uh, YouTube and Instagram. Uh, I think it's Lawn Care or Lawn Services. Anyway, you can check him out. Man, this guy's got a push more. And he was putting it in the back, in the trunk of the car, along with a blower and a trimmer and all of that. And he was getting out uh, service and property. So it, it's something that you can get in uh, to without a whole lot of money. A lot of times it's something you can get into with, with things you already have that you use around your house or maybe that people in your family have. You know, uh, you basically need something to cut grass with. 
and you need something to trim with and you need something to blow off with or either to sweep off if you want to use a broom i mean literally you can get into it uh your first part of your provisions your equipment you can be creative with that and and you can get into it for you know for for fairly low cost starting out small again and then you want to take and reinvest the money that you make back into the business and buy better equipment and so on and so forth uh, the second thing you would need under provisions, though, is you need customers, right? you got to get out and you got to find customers because uh, you can have a passion for it and you can have you can have an in, you know, you can have a, a, a 250 diesel truck with an enclosed trailer full of equipment. But if you don't have customers, uh, you don't have a business. Right. And so you got to you got to get you got to get customers. And listen, uh, you got to get your name out there, you know. Talk to friends, talk to family members, talk to co-workers. Look, there are a lot of people that want to spend their weekends hanging out with their families and going on vacations and doing all this kind of stuff, and they don't want to mess with cutting their lawn. And if you're starting out small and you got a low overhead, uh, you know, jump in there and, and, and get dirty and do what you got to do. To make some money. Now, I'm not saying lose money. I'm not saying go out and undercut people. Know what you need to make, but 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 talk to those people and say, hey, I'd like to do it. And listen, uh, you know, there there's a lot of things that you can do to get customers. Whether it's you know doing business cards, word of mouth, passing out flyers, you know, doing that kind of stuff. I'm gonna tell you, for me, word of mouth has been the best thing. Facebook has been a great tool. Google my business if you want to set something up on there. Simple things, free things, practically, that you can do to get your name out there. But word of mouth, by far, has been the best for me. And I'll be honest with you, I started out cutting some lawns where I didn't make much money on cutting them, but it got my name out there. And you know what? I kept those customers, even though I didn't make a lot off of them, because they were faithful and they gave me an opportunity up front. But as more people, as people saw my work and it got out there, people began to call uh, now, I don't have a big company. I only service 10 or 12 properties, and, and that's pretty much the max. That's all I need. That's all I want at this stage where I'm at in life. So you need passion. You need provisions. And the third thing that you're going to need is perseverance, okay? Because I talked about passion and instant gratification and all that kind of stuff to begin with. But listen, every day, every day is not going to be a good day. Every day is not going to be a great day. Uh, there are going to be times that when you feel like, hey, you know, uh, even though I'm passionate about this and even though I have the stuff that I need to do, uh, the job is it, it's just not working out for me. You know, uh, you're going to lose customers. Listen, I, I just lost this past week. I lost two customers, two good customers out of all the customers, you know, I had. Uh, I would I would have thought those probably would not have been. Uh, the ones that I would have lost. Now, and I, I'm not I'm not knocking the customers. They made decisions that they need to make. Uh, one of them was for financial reasons. We're in a bad time right now, and uh, you know, and and so I was very gracious to them. And listen, I told them I said, hey, you know, if you ever need anything, just give me a call. And to be honest, uh, the the particular one that was in a financial situation, uh, I'll probably go check that property this week just to see what it looks like and. Uh, and if, it's, if it hasn't been taken care of, I'll probably take care of it. Now, that's a unique situation, okay? But, you know, I'm not saying that everybody should do that. But but what I'm saying is there, there are going to be times where you feel defeated. There are going to be times where uh, you you climb up the side of that mountain and you feel like you have gotten, you've gotten there, you finally accomplished what you're passionate about and what you set out to do. Uh, and, and you're going to have your, you're going to have your legs knocked right out from under you. And, and that's just going to happen, Okay. Uh, because, because it, listen, lawn care is expensive. It, it really is. And a lot of times, you know, after a person begins paying for it and they begin to think, you know what, it, it's not that hot out there. I already have a lawn more or my son could come cut it for me. I know he doesn't cut it like I want him to. He doesn't cut it as often as I want him to, but he has offered to do it. And I'm paying 200 bucks to somebody to keep up my lawn. My son will come and do it for free. Maybe not as good job, maybe not as timely. But I'm saving 200 bucks a month. So you understand that. Sometimes people just have to make very practical decisions. But when they do that, uh, sometimes it kind of takes the wind out of our sails. And so you need perseverance. There are going to be good days. There are going to be bad days. And there's going to be a bunch of days in between there. And that's why I said the passion was so important. Passion is very important for getting into a business or into an industry or launching your own company. But passion will only... 
carry you so far. It is that perseverance when things are not going well and life has gotten difficult um, that, 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 that you need that perseverance and that drive to just dig down deep and say, you know what, I'm not going to let this get the best of me. Yes, I lost a yes, I lost a customer. Uh, yes, I had an equipment breakdown. Yes, somebody's mad at me and they gave me a bad review. Uh, yes, some people in a neighborhood got to talking and I lost four properties. I mean, those kind of things are they're going to happen. We just need to be prepared for them. So, anyway, I, I'll do some more detail on uh, particularly the provisions part. I'll try to do another video uh, maybe tomorrow. And, and, and talk about, you know, what some kind of practical setup could be, you know, and, and, and what it might cost you to uh, get into one of those kind of setups and, and maybe, you know, getting customers and whatever. But anyway, I appreciate you taking the time to watch. If this video was helpful for you, uh, I would encourage you to, to drop me a thumbs up, a like. And also, uh, if you haven't already, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. Uh, you know, click the little bell, get notifications when new videos go up, and then also drop me a comment, man. I love interacting uh, with y'all and uh, getting to know people through YouTube, and uh, and if you have a channel, let me know where your channel's at, and uh, when I have an opportunity, I can check it out. But anyway, appreciate you watching today, and uh, my prayer for my viewers, for all of my viewers, is always the same. My prayer is that the Lord might richly bless you, but more importantly, that you might see all of your blessings from Him. That uh,